to see you all again back for a brand new year 2007 I'm looking forward to a cracking year and I hope you are too great to see you back I've had a bit of an extended break a bit of a tan going so um, yeah, it, it's really great however I've jumped right into it I'm actually in Sydney at the moment training at the Fuji Xerox office taking advantage of a couple of the Macs that we have in the training room here or with the eyesight cameras on them so uh, you can see I've got my little desk here, I've got a data projector up there and there's a whole bunch of computers here. We finished for the day and I thought I'd do my first podcast for the year. So what better way to start the year than with a terrific, one of my favourite Photoshop tutorials. This is one I learned off uh, Jack Davis, the master of the Photoshop How to Wow book and the Photoshop Wow book. This one is for sharpening images. I know you're just going to love it. It's really great to see you got all, all you guys back again. So here comes the tip. I better get into it. I've got my laptop right here. Um, here we go. <laughs> now, what a very nice camera work I had going there. Anyway, here's a bit of photo. Here's a uh, little bit of a photo I took. Um, while I was going in the open range zoo the other day. Um, a couple of rhinos, probably not their best angle, but let's see if we can do something to this photograph to enhance it. If I go ahead and zoom in a little bit first, I'm using Apple uh, Plus or Control Plus Minus just to zoom in, have a real good look at the detail in this shot. You can start to see some pixels once I get right in there, but let's go to a roundabout here. The idea of this exercise is to kind of sharpen it a bit. Now there are a number of sharpening type filters. So if we come down to uh, sharpen here, uh, uh, the sharpen, sharpen edges and, and so forth, sharpen more, uh, and the very popular unsharp mask. There for another day. That is not what we're doing today. We're going to do a really simple uh, technique I've learned from Jack Davis. Step number one is duplicate the background layer. Now you can do this a couple of ways. Apple or Control J for duplicate. If you're Australian, duplicate is spelt with a J. So we can pick this up and drag and drop it onto the new layer icon if you don't like duplicating. So that is uh, this little guy down here and I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see. Drag and drop your layer onto that thing that's the I'd like a new one layer. I'll pick it up and drag and drop it on there. Background copy and we'll rename that one uh, pop. Okie doke, because we're going to give our image a bit of pop. Step number, what step are we up to? I think number three, go to the filter menu, filter, and scroll down to other and across to, that's right, high pass. What does it mean? I don't know. What does high pass mean? And why is it under the other filter? I think it's there because no one really knew what we'd use it for. Um, so that's where we'd put it if we really, it fits into no category. Although I like to use it for sharpening, so I'd probably put it under there. But let's go ahead and do it. Sharpen. Oh, you might be saying, that doesn't look very sharp. Well, I'm just going to, take this back to about eight. I'm just playing with this. This is virtually going to be the amount of sharpening that we're going to do. So you can see down here, I've just changed that to eight. Now zoom in for you iPod viewers. There we go. Eight. Go ahead and click OK. And the final step, let's call it step number four. We need to come here to where the normal mode pop down slider is. Okay. We're going to click that and we're going to scroll down to overlay. That's right overlay and watch what happens when I click this boom it is sharper let's turn it off and back on again off and on hopefully you can see that that's a lot sharper now for you iPod viewers I'm gonna zoom right in so you can have a good look at the difference 
and zoom in around this tail kind of area. We'll zoom right in, hey? Before, after, before, after. Hopefully that you can see that. And this is a super quick way of sharpening an image. Just to prove it, I'm going to do another image real quick. Window, pink flower, duplicate, command or control J, filter, other, high pass, click OK, normal, and overlay. It's done. Let's zoom in and have a look. Zoom right in in this case. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in even closer. It's a pretty high res shot. Before, after, before, after. And there we have it. Sharpening using the high pass filter. There's more to that in Jack Davis's Photoshop How to Wow with Photoshop for Photographers book. You might notice that I've uh, changed outfits and position in the room. Uh, it's, a, it's a little trick. I can show you about that uh, another time. But I'm still a Fuji Xerox though. We're into the last day of our InDesign course where we do uh, outputting to um, uh, various printers and, and, and whatnot. And we're all just learning about how to fix the dreaded white box problem as well as the uh, even more dreaded changing Pantone colours uh, problem and the text going bold problem. We fix all of those during this course. It's a wonderful course. We run them in uh, Sydney at the moment, but also Melbourne, I think next month, and and uh, also Brisbane, and then back in Sydney again uh, later on in the year. So the Adobe training courses. I'll put a number that you can ring if you're in Australia uh, and a website you can go to if you'd like to attend those courses. So. Thanks very much for joining in. We're going to have a great year. Um, I might even do some of those things as a podcast request episode if you send me an email that you'd like to see that sort of stuff because I'm more than willing to take requests and the more emails I get, the more likely they are to appear on the show. I've got some exciting things coming up this year. There's a new Photoshop CS3 beta out at the moment. I can't wait to do a couple of little tips on that. I'm still doing a bit of practice, but I've got some great tips for you coming up. So hopefully you'll enjoy those. I'm actually going over to California at the end of this month to do a little bit of training at Adobe's headquarters in San Jose. And I am really looking forward to that. Anyway, that's